Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today's video is exciting. I tested the sample before and I loved it and I slept on it and then they discontinue it. It's so hard to find. The price went up so much. And I finally found an actual retailer that sells gourmand cooking from Guerlain and I bought it from Belgium so I bought it internationally and have it shipped to the US and it came packaged beautifully and came with a lot of goodies so I'm gonna go review with you everything that I got from my order so I'm gonna open it on camera it's actually a Guerlain paper it says Guerlain in there okay so the packaging looks like this this is a bee bottle and it's not a spray bottle it's, so it says elixir chanel guerlain gourmand cooking it says guerlain paris 1828 and it has gourmand cooking with the batch number so i'm so excited so it came in this bottle and it also comes with this little funnel and a little 30 ml bee bottle so it came with so many goodies. Neroli Adre Noir also have joyous tuberose. He also sent me a Pisces Folies, Santal Pau Rosa, Angelic Noir, Cor Beluga, and Spiritus Rublevene. Comes in this beautiful Guerlain pouch. The packaging is impeccable and then the, the tissue paper on inside is purple so I'm super happy with my purchase it also gave me this orchidee imperial the cream I think it's a face cream this cute face cream that I'm gonna try I'm so happy with the purchase I also got this girl on home fragrance it's a white orchid scent. I'm so excited, you guys. Musky, slightly green, slightly powdery, slightly orchid. So I really like it. All right, so let me figure out how to open this girl on gourmand cooking. Oh, twist it. I think I'm just gonna pour it in here. All right, so I'm just gonna pour it in right now. Oh my god, so that's a bad idea. And it smells wonderful, you guys. I really love it. Yeah, initial spray is this beautiful chocolatey tonka vanillic powdery vanilla. This is like one of the first Guerlain I smelled and I absolutely love it. I have Spiritus du Levene. If you follow me for a while, you know that I love it. I had Angelique Noir before and I do enjoy it. So I'm going to try Neroli, Santo Pau Rosa, Cor Beluga, Apices Foley, and Joy Tuberose. So next, I'm going to try Apices, Apices Foley's. I have no idea how to say this out loud. Okay, so this is actually a new fragrance that's launched in 2021. It's coriander, lemon, artemisia, bergamot, middle notes are clove, cardamom, Bulgarian rose, sage, sandalwood, patchouli, benzoin, and labdenum. I like it a lot, but this one reminds me a little bit of a hair oil for guys. So this is like a clean cut Fuji guy. It does remind me of hair oil though. I like it, but this is definitely not me. All right, so next I'm gonna try Neroli of Renoir because I've never tried this before. This is a very bright Neroli soapy. Citrusy, smells like a sunshine in a bottle. This is a really good summery scent. So you have to like a citrus summery scent. This one smells like a soap, like a hand soap. This one reminds me a little bit of Mandarin Basilic. 
you know, perfume sent from that family, but it's not orange and basil. This one is neroli soap and some sort of citrus, like a lemon. But it reminds me of a perfume from that family. Okay, so I'm gonna try Santal Pau Rosa. Okay, so this one smells like sandalwood. I really like this. This one, it's a very sandalwood dominant. Sandalwood, cardamom, myrrh, agarwood, fig, and nutty notes. This one's very unique. It's really good for sandalwood. The closest sandalwood that I have that's similar is Grishanel from BDK, but it's different enough. I just said closer, I didn't say it smells the same. So they both have that same sandalwood. It has the fig and they both have cardamom. So that one has tea and this one has myrrh. I think this one slightly because of the myrrh, it's a little bit more earthy, whereas Grishanel is more tea-like. But yeah, I like them both. I really, really like Antal Pau Rosa. So I have two more to try. Cor Beluga. I have a perfume that was sent to me and it smells similar to Cord Beluga and I ended up not liking it because I feel like the leather is a little bit more stronger. So I'm gonna try the real Cord Beluga and see how I like it. Okay, so just wanted to add that Santal Pau Rosa and it dries down. It smells further away from Grishanel at this point. It has this like icy hot coldness, so it sort of reminds me a little bit of a Bengay. So yeah, it opens like a Grishanel and then it turns to be more aromatic and it slightly resembles a Bengay, but I really, really, really like it. So I'm gonna try Cor Beluga here. I really like it, you guys. I really like the real Cor Beluga. So this is another full bottle that I really wanna have. Last but not least, a Joyous Tuberose. I really like this one too. This one smells like a very bright tuberose. It smells like a sunshine in a bottle, but this a tuberose sunshine. So I'm gonna rank from my most favorite to my least favorite. My most favorite is Guerlain Gourmand Coquine out of everything I ordered today. Yeah, it's so good. It smells like chocolate. Tonka powderiness. It smells like a toned down version of Fev Delicious, except this is less sweet and it's more powdery, it's more subtle. I love it so much. It's so good. And I spill some, it makes me sad, it breaks my heart. Okay, so the second one that I really like is Cor Beluga. This is second on my wish list. And I really like. I know that I didn't test it on screen, but I really like Spiritus du Bleveni, that's number three. Uh, number four is Angelique Noir, I'm very familiar with how it smells like, I used to own it. Number five is Joyous Tuberose, I love it too, it's very very nice. It's like a bright sunshiny neroli citrusy tuberose, very uplifting, I really really like it. Next is Santal Pau Rosa. I also love it so much. It reminds me of Grishanel and then changed to like Bengay like. Less, way less toned down version of Bengay and add powderiness. I really like it. Next, Neroli at Renoir, which is bright citrusy. Reminds me a little bit of a dish soap. You know what, what else reminds me of this perfume? Jewel Met Stairways to Heaven, but that one has Haldehyde. This is Neroli. And last but not least, well, not last but least, um, Apicis Folies, because this one smells like, like a hair oil. It has that muskiness and masculine leaning hair oil. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.